To be honest, when I started this mod, I thought this might be a little ridiculous and over the top. A dedicated display unit in Gran Turismo. Um, but it ended up being super useful. But here I am unboxing. It is a 4 inch 800 by 480 pixel display. It's a touch screen and it comes direct from china what i really like about this you can see is it's got one single connection a usb-c so i went to my handy dandy 3d printer had a buddy help me print out a housing i found the stl file online at uh thingiverse and printed it out and popped it in and the display fit in there really nicely but the cable and uh, some of the I drilled a hole in there I had an idea for mounting so I had some little plastic pieces and stuff but basically the hole where the cable the ribbon cable feeds through to the back of the housing just needed to be filed down and cut down and trimmed and make it a little easier for that for that ribbon cable to slide through and then I could attach a USB cable in there so this is just a little bit of test fitting it's pretty typical when you are 3d printing parts like this that sometimes you need to sand file cut melt something anyway here we go putting a USB C cable into uh, the back of the housing and then it's got a nice little groove to lock that cable in and make it nice and sturdy. For this initial install, I just went with the 3M dual lock tape on the back. It's similar to Velcro, but it's a little uh, a little more substantial and I find they typically hold better. And uh, there it is all together. And then uh, there is a bezel or frame that goes over the front and I sent some screws through there and put it all together and kind of wrapped it up, made it look nice, which I think it came out pretty good. Uh, not too concerned with what the back looks like. I did print a back cover as well that I ended up using later on on the final install. Uh, here we go, taking the play seat trophy and tipping it over so I can get access to that USB hub and I put a USB, a small USB extension because the USB-C cable I had going to the display was just short. So I ended up buying a longer one, but I wanted to get this thing together and working. So you can see the display is now kind of hanging off of there and I ended up Velcroing the cable. When I did the final install, I did run the cable actually through the frame along with all the other ones. That frame, with all the cabling running through it is jam packed now and someday I'll have to take it all apart, drill some bigger holes and redo it. But for now, it works. So once I've got it plugged into my SIM hub PC, to do something like this, you do need a Windows PC, a separate Windows PC running SIM hub. And what it is doing is receiving the telemetry data. So I had to go in there and add a device and you can scroll around and see all the different devices they have but basically i just added a generic screen and um it recognized it right away and you can see once you have that turned on you can do things like tell it what display what excuse me what dashboard you want to use from sim hub all your uh, dashboards are going to be listed under your dash studio so you can you know pick something for an idle screen pick something else for your screen your main screen when you're in game you can do things like set it up to scroll through things i don't really have any of that set up but i at this point i was using lovely dashboard and um it is available for free there's also membership uh tiers that you can do that unlocks a little bit but honestly um i ended up doing a membership mostly just to support the developer even though I'm not really using all the features so once it is plugged in and sim hub is sending it you get this cool idle screen that has your name and your 
your uh, racing number and then here it is in action so that is the lovely dashboard which honestly looks fantastic the only downside is in gran turismo a lot of the data shown on this dashboard doesn't actually receive any data so it's just kind of dead i ended up building my own dashboard using some components from lovely dashboard and some other stuff to create uh, brake and throttle telemetry and i'll do another video that shows what i did and how i did it but this is a super cool and fun project 